Okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and if I time this right, it should be starting now. There we go. That's the music I'm looking for. Du, du. Okay, I, I don't know, I just love the song. Anyways, we're gonna we're today we're back playing the role of Hex and we're gonna actually get into uh, this next mission, which is colonize 140 tiles. Got a difficulty of 25. Really? Okay, what are these? Spans when fully protected, destroys itself when not. What does that mean, though? What does it mean, fully tech protected? What do the symbols mean? I don't understand. Um, well, whatever. We're just gonna, I guess, put turrets around. Just to kind of gain some money to start off with. We'll go for projectile speed. So then we can put, like, a behemoth somewhere, somewhere nice. And let's just wait for the enemies, I guess, to show up. Yeah, I don't understand what this stuff does. It says expands when fully protected, but I don't know what that means. Go for resources. Yeah, what does it mean expands when fully protected? And it says the it looks like the integrity of it's going up. Because it was at 125, now it's at 130. Do I, like, need to destroy this thing so it can, like, grow? Or, like... I don't understand. Because now it's up to 135. I'm really confused. All I know is that the behemoth is basically the only, only uh, turret that can actually destroy anything. The cannon does like no damage. The machine gun does even less damage. Behemoth just does like the the cannon does 12 damage. The freaking behemoth does 240. It's literally such a huge difference. We're going to upgrade that guy to a behemoth. We got some passive income. Okay. So yeah, so if I destroy that, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, so you have to... So you actually have to, like, grow this... Grow it out. Which is weird. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but whatever. Go for more auto build. Um, go for Pandora's box again. That's always a pretty good one, I would say. Oh, oops. I did not 
need to put that there, but... Okay, he just, he really wants that there, so I guess we'll just put it there. Okay, what I would love to put, to do is put like a machine gun down, and then increase the damage of it. Because it gains, what is it, plus 1%? Yeah. Oh, gosh. But these guys are so freaking difficult to kill, though. That's the only problem. And the machine gunner does like nothing. Um, oh, wow. Let's increase the attack speed. Maybe the machine gunners can actually be good. Although I have a feeling it might only be the behemoths that actually do much of anything, but... I'm hoping if I can get enough machine gunners that... It'll actually do something, but I don't know. Look at that machine gunner, though. Like, look at their barrels. They're just like spinning uncontrollably. Oh my gosh. That, is, that was a crazy upgrade that I got. I'm really hoping that, like... Oh, so this will just, like, grow out? It just, like, eats... Eats one of my, like, platform things, I guess? I need to do that to 140? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, this is gonna be very difficult, to say the least. We'll go for automatic shields. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think once you can kind of, you get machine guns going, then I think you're, like, basically set and will be able to handle anything. But until that point, I think it's, like, behemoths are, like, the play. But yeah, once you get, like, the machine guns going, then I think you're pretty much good. But until then, you're kind of, eh. I think though I think the one thing that's really gonna help here though is the auto build. I think the auto build is gonna is gonna be the one thing that actually kinda saves me here. We'll go for more damage. The reason I'm going for more damage right now instead of attack speed is just so I can increase the damage of the machine gunners until they get to a point where they can actually start killing things fast enough and then uh, and then yeah and then just kind of go from there or their area of effect was a little bit bigger though that's the one thing that's really like holding them back Oh yeah, more damage on kill. That's going to be really good.
just increase their damage even faster for killing things. Yeah, see, the only problem is the behemoths still just... Just overwhelm. Um, uh, we'll go for attack speed on kill. It's not really gonna do a whole lot, but it might do something for... For a little while. There we go. Go for more attack speed. You see, the behemoths are still just... Because of their area of effect. Area of effect and high damage, they're just... Still just demolishing everything. Like, there's, there's just nothing can overwhelm the... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't I honestly still don't think that the I I still don't see the machine gunners out outperforming the the behemoths. Even even with how strong my the setup is, I still don't see them doing better than than the behemoths. Because even with a ton of machine gunners, it was still like the behemoths were the only thing actually kind of defending me. And now that they have double attack speed, it's like... Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess behemoths are now just the way to go. I mean, they always have been, but I was really hoping machine gunners would shine a little bit this time around but even even with what they're best at which is high attack speed the behemoths still do better and mainly because of their high range as well the range is crazy I guess I could Kind of start removing some things. Yeah, we'll go for more attack speed on the behemoths. Yeah, the behemoths just completely prevent anything from actually getting any kills because the behemoths are just that good. They're genuinely just that good. And I kind of forgot about the fact that I have abilities. I probably could have saved myself quite a bit if I used the Pandora's box when it was available when I was getting swarmed, but I completely forgot about it. Yeah, I mean, it's just the fact that the behemoths can do so much damage and they benefit so much from the plus percent damage from kills. It's like, they, it's, yeah, I, it's so difficult. It's so difficult to actually scale with anything else other than the behemoths. The only thing that would actually help with the machine gunners is the one thing that will knock will give them knockback that might help kind of help make them a little bit more viable but and even then i don't know if it would really i don't know we'll, we'll have to see we'll see go for more damage on kill
But yeah, it's just like, look at the behemoths right now. They're, it's, I mean, it's quite literally doing what it said it would do. It, it sends out a barrage. I don't know if it's that everything is too weak or behemoths are too strong. I feel like everything is too weak. And I feel like the behemoth is a little strong. Everything is either... Yeah, everything's too weak and the behemoths are a little too strong. I feel like that's... the. I feel like that's the best way to describe it. Um... Current cooldown regeneration. When an enemy is killed, the spark is created on its place by regenerating their barrier. I'm probably gonna go for an overclock. And we'll do that. Go for more auto build. Go for more damage. See, damage benefits the um, the machine gunners the most, and the attack speed benefits the behemoths the most. How did that get destroyed? It just disappeared. Uh, we'll go with that. We'll decrease it. Yeah, I mean, if I could do enough damage with the machine gunners, then maybe then it, it would be okay, but damage would really only benefit the machine gunners. No, I don't, I don't really like that, I don't think. Because of that, because then it might make the machine gunners more viable, sure. But that's a that's a risk. That's a very high risk, possible high reward. The only thing that gu it guarantees is that I risk losing much sooner than I was hoping, than I would want. It, it doesn't really give me much benefit because it makes my behemoths much weaker. I'm also trying to separate things a little bit because of that one upgrade that makes isolated towers stronger. They do like 10% more damage. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going for right now. But yeah, even, even with like three machine gunners attacking the same unit, a behemoth just does their job better and faster and just in every way possible. There's just, there, yeah, it's just an improvement. Also, eventually so these sharks are going to start coming through. At this point, we're just colonizing the water. Yep, see, here come the sharks. See, and there's freaking sharks on land. I don't understand how this works. Oh, this is going to be a problem because as soon as they start destroying these things, then these guys, the colony stuff is going to start dying. Oh, no. <laughs> This is quite the predicament. 
Colonizing the water was uh, is actually not as good as I was hoping it would be. Who would have guessed colonizing the wa the ocean was a bad idea? The slow on hit might actually be good for the machine gunners too though. But yeah, for now, for actually defending, the behemoths are by far doing the best. Ah, uh, which kind of sucks. It only sucks because I was really wanting the machine gunners. Because the machine gunners have such high, like, pot, like, just, like, versatility. And they have such a high chance of doing well. It's just that the behemoths just do better. In every way. They do more damage. They have higher range. They don't have a higher attack speed, but they have a higher area of effect, and the damage in the area of effect completely outshine the attack speed. And then the cannon is just... It's just there. It's just a worse version of everything. Yep, see, and there goes the colony. Um, go for scan. Start kind of scanning some areas. Sorry, I'm really trying to, like, focus right now, because things are not quite going exactly how I wanted them to. Especially in the water over here. Oh my gosh. How many of those do I have? Two, I think? Yep, two. So if I can get that to 5, then I, I believe it becomes 100% probability of them getting slowed, but I'm not, I don't fully remember. That's the one thing, though, with the machine gunner. Actually, the machine gunner is obviously better because, um, you know, if, there, if you have something that's a percent on hit, like, uh, applies this effect or whatever. Damage on slow. Slow enemies take damage over time based on their slow stacks. Giant size, uh, ooh. Yeah, let's go with that. That's mainly only gonna be the help of behemoths, but I'm hoping that's gonna actually do something as well for the, for the machine gunners. Um, let's see, what, I, what was I saying? Um, I don't remember. I wish I could remember. Um, but no, oh yeah, I remember. Uh, the only thing that's really gonna benefit from like percent, like percent on hit, are the machine or the machine gunners. Um, but if you have something that's like percent on hit, but if you get five of them, then it goes up to a hundred percent. Then it doesn't really matter at that point. So, oh my gosh. Damage on kill. Yeah, those machine gunners just have no chance. They, they, the machine gunners really cannot do anything. Like, they, they can't. They are just... Like, the behemoths, in basically every way possible, are outperforming the machine gunners. 
We'll go for damage for isolated towers. That might help a little bit in some way, somewhere, somehow. I don't know. Yeah, the only time that a machine gunner does better than a than a behemoth is when the machine gunner is fully alone. It's when there's no behemoths anywhere to be seen around it. It's the only time that a machine gunner actually does a, does better than a behemoth is when there isn't a behemoth for it to compete with. Also, oh, are, are all of the enemies just sharks at this point? Because I'm not seeing any land enemies. Okay, there's. Never mind. I, I was wrong. But it just seems like, yeah, the. Gosh. Barrier, increased barrier, conditional multi shot. We'll go for a conditional multi shot, I guess. Yeah, if I put him by himself, then hopefully that should help. Look at this guy. 72,000. On that one behemoth. One behemoth has 72,000 damage. How is this 105 damage machine gunner supposed to compete with 72,000? <sighs> Let's see, I'm up to four, so... Yep, now we're up to 100%, so... Behemoths are just gonna basically wreck everything. Look at that. Look at look at the power behind this. I'm going to remove that guy by the way so it can kind of spread a bit more, but I could get rid of this guy as well. The machine gunner and just have it kind of spread. Uh go for more experience, I guess. Yeah, so have it spread out a little bit. Because we only need 16 more tiles, so... We're honestly not that far off. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll go for... Oh my gosh! That's actually such an insane one for it to replicate. Now it should start, yeah, start developing this area a little bit. Yeah, I mean, there's just... It, it doesn't matter. It gets to a point where it doesn't even matter. Because the behemoths are just that strong. Go for more decreased building costs, I guess.
kills recharge barrier. Uh, we'll go for barrier range. I think that'll actually be a pretty strong one. Go for more damage. Go for more damage on kill. Rotation speed, why not? Yeah, even the base, like the, even base level um, behemoths are absolutely demolishing everything. Yeah, extend mission, reroll acquired. Wait, I got nine of these? Oh, uh, or wait, what? Yeah, I guess I got nine and then two of these. Is that how that works? Anyways, I guess I'll keep it. So I, uh, nine out of 32 drops required to reach the next level. Or I got, okay, it's level five. Or, oh, I, okay, so I got nine of them, but there, you need 32, wait, what? I'm confused. Okay, whatever. Those behemoths, my gosh. I was really I was really rooting for like the machine gunners from like the very beginning. But my gosh, those behemoths, no matter what no matter if you have upgrades that benefit machine gunners, no matter if you have upgrades that, you know well actually yeah, just upgrades that highly benefit machine gunners, the behemoths just somehow end up benefiting from it more. I... Whatever. Anyways, my name's Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Roll of Hex. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Me and the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything, and yeah. Hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.